Nearly 8,000 people braved the rain with their picket signs and blue ribbons like these to show their support for the Slow Women's March. Each person had their own reason to march. Because it's not just about our generation and the millennials. It's about our kids and our families and like the place that we're going to have in the world. When organizers started planning the event, they were expecting only about 200 people. My co-organizers, Dawn Addis, just put a little thing on Facebook after the election and said, wouldn't it be great if we could have a march here? And that just grew like women's things do to this day. There were signs for as far as the eye could see on the stormy Saturday. The streets filled with people and pets of all ages. I've been standing out here for an hour or two just giving hugs to the marchers and one guy came up to me like four times and publicly announced that apparently I give the best hugs. Another woman, she was kind of older, she came up to me and embraced me for like minutes and she kept on telling me that I was beautiful and that I needed to be out here. I made her cry and then I cried a little bit. It was a beautiful moment. <laughs> Plenty of Cal Poly students marched alongside one another, each with hopes for the future. I'm marching for all the people who can't be marching today. It's really important that women in our generation, we don't like move to the path that we keep pushing forward. The event was a team effort with support from local businesses and 140 volunteers. Organizers say this event will not be the last and the march will be a slow tradition for years to come. And when I went up to the gazebo to join the group and looked out, it was, I was crying. That's, that's how it felt. Allison Royal, Mustang News.